What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on Polygon Matic. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then we'll continue with the fundamental news that drives the price of this token. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Mumu valued up to $7000, please check out that link in the description below. All you have to do is sign up for an account and deposit as little as $1. This is guaranteed free money. Full details you can see on the screen right now. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here, at this very point, uh, right after we had this massive uh, spike in uh, volume and in price, and uh, it was uh, the date when uh, Mr. Jerome Powell had his speech and uh, he told that uh, basically they will increase the interest rate uh, in uh, March, and uh, that's why we had this reaction to the downside. And uh, I've told you that uh, my main assumption, we have to complete the entire C wave and uh, the bottom of the C wave might be even at $1 price point. Uh, but for now, we didn't hit this range, but still we have uh, the possibility to hit lower targets. And in my technical analysis, uh, I will show you exact uh, breakdown of uh, this recent movement and I will show you why I still stand on my position. So, and for now, let's continue with the total sentiment for entire crypto industry. And uh, we are sitting at $1.72 trillion of total market cap. It is a 0.43% increase over the last day. And as you can see, uh, major cryptocurrencies uh, are in green. Bitcoin has about 1% increase during the last 24 hours. Ethereum 1.8% uh, and BNB 0.3%. And on a 7 days period they are also in green, Bitcoin uh, has about 7.4%, Ethereum about 5.5% and uh, BNB coin has about 5.1% of uh, potential gains. And I have to say that we are not out of the woods uh, because uh, we should have much more volume and much more price action uh, from uh, the very bottom of uh, the recent uh, price action and that's why we are still not out of the woods despite of this seven days period uh, green levels and let's continue with the uh, polygon numbers for now it has uh, 12.5 uh, billion dollars of total market cap it is almost the same that it has previously but the total tradable volume is 850.01 million dollars and uh, it is a decrease for about uh, 40% during, during last 24 hours. And let me show you that uh, on uh, the price chart we have consistently diminishing volume during this basically sideways movement. This means market is uh, in some kind of undecisive phase and this means uh, we might go either way. But uh, all in all, from the fundamental standpoint, uh, Polygon is a very good uh, asset and let me show you its recent news. 13 hours ago on newsbtc.com we have this article that is titled OVR migrates to the Polygon network uh, in quest to dominate the metaverse. And let me quote you this. OVR has successfully completed the first phase of its two-phase migration to the Polygon network. The move began in January and has already shown promising results for the project with the second phase uh, to be deployed in February. It announced that it has uh, transferred the market proof and minting functions uh, from the Ethereum network over the Polygon network, allowing for NFT minting at low fees. And uh, definitely it is a very good uh, and promising uh, migration and uh, I have to say it is uh, not the only migration that uh, Polygon is experiencing right now. Let me show you this article. It was published uh, on January 29th and uh, it says Polygon reaches new milestone of 7000 D apps, beats Ethereum's daily transaction volume. And let me go to this. Layer 2 protocols aim uh, at uh, bringing scalability to the ever congested uh, Ethereum network have been stealing the crypto show ever since the DeFi summer last year. Polygon has now revealed that over 7000 decentralized applications were now operational of its network, which is more than double the number just three months prior, according to data from Alchemy. 
In a blog post, it was further highlighted that the number of teams building their projects on Polygon has doubled every two months from the mid last year. By the end of December, this number has stood at 6,000, up 43% from the previous month. The huge influx has also led to the network's usage also jumping up 74% during the same period. And here is uh, the Polygon's uh, growth rate, as you can see, number of developer teams, and uh, the dates from uh, June 2021 till January 2022. And as you can see, it has almost exponential move to the upside. This means more and more teams are starting to develop their dApps uh, on uh, Polygon network. And this means uh, higher adoption might lead uh, to potential higher demand in uh, their native token. And that's why we might uh, have a next leg to the upside that will be extremely, extremely huge. And uh, let me show you that uh, on their official Twitter page, they have uh, a lot of uh, other news and I don't want to dive deep into these news. But if you want to stay in line with their latest news, uh, I, I highly recommend you to follow this Twitter account in order to stay in line with uh, their updates. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, the main concern of uh, this uh, movement, uh, basically sideways movement, is the lack of volume. As you can see, volume is extremely low and it is still becoming lower and lower, even with this movement to the upside. And uh, what to expect next? First of all, let me show you that we definitely have some kind of bullish pattern and it is a uh, ascending triangle. And uh, if uh, this uh, formation holds, we should break it to the upside with the conviction of volume. And uh, this will lead uh, to much higher targets. But otherwise, we have another possibility. And uh, if uh, this breakdown is correct and if it is uh, the entire wave, and on some exchanges we have uh, this point that is higher than this one. This means we should have uh, this wave as our first wave. This is our second. This entire movement is the third. This uh, to this top is the fourth one. And we have to have one more leg to the downside to complete uh, the bottom of the C wave. Only in this case, this wave will be completed. And uh, we might have next leg to the upside to start new major uptrend. But uh, right here we have this uh, point that is higher than this one. And uh, in this case we have to put uh, the top of our B wave right here and uh, the bottom of our C wave in this case should be at this point. And that is why I have some doubts about uh, next leg. Because for now we might have next leg uh, to the upside or to the downside, depending on the sentiment. And that's why we have to keep an eye on uh, Bitcoin price action, because Bitcoin for now leads uh, the polygon and it doesn't have uh, its own uh, major news that might drive its price uh, higher or lower. And this means uh, fundamentally this asset is quite stable and is quite uh, strong. But all in all, for now, we can rely only on total sentiment for entire crypto industry. And what are the key points? Definitely, if uh, we will break the range of about $1.73 to the upside with the increase in volume, uh, we will establish new higher highs and definitely, most likely, the bottom of our C wave will be right here. But otherwise, if we will break it to the downside, again, with increase in volume, our next uh, major support line will be this bottom. And the closer the price gets to this point, the more likely we will break it to the downside and we will uh, land, in my opinion, at the range of about $1 price point. So, I think from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye!